wonder if movies are more of a reflection of how we dream, or if it's the other way around. In some cultures, a mind scan would be like stealing your spirit. Mind scan technology keeps our soldiers alive. There's nothing bad or evil about it. This is just a computer simulation? You created a virtual world that's indistinguishable from the real world. Virtual reality that's indistinguishable from natural reality? Well, wouldn't that by definition be reality? It's not like seeing a movie then walking out and entering the real world. You take these memories with you. Young adults have embraced MindScan as a social networking portal. A world where people can be what they want, do what they want, uh, even live forever. We're able to recreate people, locations, and situations from memories. The thought of being and doing what you've always wanted is extremely seductive. It's almost like a time machine. You can go back and do things over, make them right. Who says you can't go back, huh? There's a whole other side of mind scan you'd be very interested in. Mind scans are not safe. People have died. Eventually, the rest of our systems will shut down. Isn't it time you came back to the world of the living? Are you alive? If not a man, then what? A computer? ALF, is that what you're calling them now? Yes, artificial life form. They seem so alive. ALFs just don't know they're ALFs. I'm real. At least I think I'm real. This is all speculation. Mind scans are dangerous. Oh my god. I may have caused this. What did you expect to happen? The sacrifice of a few or even just one for the benefit of mankind. Her mind will remain perfectly normal, but the rest of her will deteriorate. She'll lose all voluntary control of her body and you need to fix this. It'll be like killing me. This is a bad idea. She's the right person for the job. This is a fairly new procedure. There'll always be some people who'll tend to use things for the wrong reasons. You sacrificed your life for me. Well, it sounds like we're talking about a person's uh, soul. You never know, do you? Well, I guess that's a question for all of us to ponder.